I've passed this building a million times. This is St. Urban and Rachel. I never thought too much about what was going on. Well, let me tell you something. Residing in this space is one of the top five places in the world that produces and installs large-scale art mosaics for public spaces. Some of Mosaica's work can be seen in subways, airports, hotels, and cathedrals around the world. Right now, they're embarking on their biggest project to date, a 2,500 square foot mosaic. So wanting to be helpful, I've decided to roll up my sleeves and see if I can add even a small piece to this massive puzzle. So I'm here with Saskia Seabrand, who's one half of the partnership that established Mosaica. And you guys started in... 1998. Basically what happened is I was living in this small little duplex in, in the plateau, and I we just got put the couch out on the sidewalk, and we put a desk in our living room, and that was our, our office. Between the two things, having a desk or having a couch, the right. couch was disposable. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Saskia's partner, Corey Smite, manages the business side of the operation. The two met as students in Concordia. While Saskia enrolled in the ceramic arts, Corey attained her MBA. The two combined forces and the apartment they shared became their first office, along with a functioning kiln in their basement. It's a labor of love, really. Yeah. Uh, everything about it is loving this kind of particular art medium. Do you have a special project in Montreal that you would tell people to go and visit? One of the nice ones that we started out with, so I have a real fondness for, uh, is the CJA, the Cummings House. Okay. The marble mosaics that we did. It's a really good payoff, especially with, uh, you know, Arts for Transit. They can see that putting great art in the subways and uh, airports really increase like a really pleasurable experience. Yeah. And I think all mosaicists kind of know that they're doing something that's going to be around for hundreds of years. So it's kind of being like part of history. The earliest mosaic discovered third millennium BC. And I mean, that's why we take it so seriously, right? And now Saskia is taking me to their workshop where they're painstakingly assembling this giant stained glass and ceramic mosaic. Designed by Brooklyn-based artist Shanique Smith for the Mother Clara Hale Bus Depot in Harlem, New York. Is this the biggest piece you guys have ever done? It's by far the biggest piece we've ever done. There are 10 this size. The entire project is like 2,600 square feet. Wow. It's actually so big that we can't actually ever see it in one piece in the studio. We have to you wait have to till see it's it on, on location. the wall. And so if somebody asks you now, we need to mosaic the Grand Canyon. We need you to go in there <laughs> and we need you to... That's, that's what we're geared towards. We want to do bigger and bigger and bigger mosaics. And yeah. yeah. Now to see if I can add even a small piece to this giant project. More protection. You are truly the glaze master at this point. I've become the glaze master, yes. <laughs> like that? <laughs> I'm not making it into the final mosaic, I don't think. Cut me loose. I'm at Mosaica, a nondescript building in the plateau. They're one of five companies in the world that make large-scale public art mosaics. After getting acquainted with the place, I'm now ready to add my piece to their intricate puzzle. It's recommended to be wearing gloves when glazing tile. At Mosaica, everything is controlled and customized. Every tile is handcrafted and hand cut. They even mix their own blend of colors for each project. This is the glaze master, Ricardo Ruiz, and you've been working here for? Eight years. Eight years. So you are truly the glaze master at this point. I've become the glaze master, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how you're doing. Just show me how this all works. <laughs> all right. So then this is what we're trying to reproduce. It's an artist called Rupert Garcia. So this is basically just transparent glaze. The glaze is basically just ground up glass. And here you have pigments. It's like making chocolate milk from a powder. <laughs> That's exactly how it is. Yeah. It can get really frustrating because the color that you see might not be the color that you get. It takes two days for your final results to come out of the kiln. Oh, really? Yeah. Is this ready to go on a tile? This is ready to go. OK. You do need to have a sort of fluidity. It's a little bit of a ballet. You're moving the tile and the, and the brush. Yes. Really? Yeah. It's kind of to match the angle of your brush to your tile. OK. It just skims the glaze over it. So should I try one? Sure, why I try not? one? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do it with the ballet. Like that? Am I, is, this, <laughs> is this what you're talking about? Well, you know. I don't think I'm doing it properly. <laughs> Yours looks a lot better than mine does. It's automatic already. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and reproduce this guy. OK. All right. Can you put it on while it's still wet? It's wait for actually it? the way you do it. Oh, wow. It's very cool. 
Sasuke oversees the entire process, frequently tweaking and running quality control at various stages. That line down here is not good. It's supposed to be a smoother transition from right. one to the other, and that's looking a little harsh. There's always things that don't quite read properly from a distance that, you know, originally we thought looked pretty good on the table. After implementing her corrections, Sasuke is going to oversee me as I learn to cut tile. Frankly, I'm a little nervous. Show me how to cut a piece of ceramic. The wheel hits the tile, you'll feel the pressure, and it has to make just the right noise as it passes over. That's it. You push, push it, it down. down. OK. This is the piece that you're looking for. Yeah, let's say. And then okay. um, what you can do after, it's an angle, so you can use the nippers. Nope, did I screw it up there? Good. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Look at that. I don't feel like I wowed anybody here. I'm not making it into the final mosaic, I don't think. So, will I be getting any job offers to become a mosaicist? I don't think so. But I got to be a little part of a much bigger puzzle. And if we've learned anything today, being a small part of something big is a pretty rewarding feeling.